In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Abuna was leaving his village and he is telling his wife, Don't worry, I'm traveling uh, to the next today in this vill to the village nearby. I will stop over in the next village, I will sleep and I will return back the, th the second day. So, I am, my trip is two days and I will come back, pray for me. And there was uh, no, t no communication and no, uh, no phones in that time. Abuna started driving. And while he was driving, he felt asleep. So he started uh, making his eyes and, and uh, touching his eyes, trying to wake himself up, trying to wake, wake, wake. It's, it's a long drive and he, he, he's very, very sleepy. He cannot even do anything he started thinking what should i do what should i do what should i do maybe a cup of coffee will will help in this time there is no cup of coffees except if al-ahwa in a coffee shop and the coffee shop it's not like here you go to starbucks and abuna can go in easily no people are uh, smoking uh, uh, shisha and hookah and it's inappropriate so abuna stopped in the village in the next uh, village and he Kept, he was extremely, extremely sleepy, and he said, this is very weird, like, I'm talking to himself, I, I never felt that sleepy in the early morning, and it is now almost uh, noon, and this is uh, very strange, I need a cup of coffee, how can I get a cup of coffee? Then he said, maybe I go to any of those Christian who has any businesses in this village. He kept searching in the, the banners and the 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 lights uh, or the the places where uh, the businesses are and he found a doctor whose name is 100 percent christian and he said you know what this is it he went all the way to abu to the, to the doctor's office he knocked on the door so the nurse is telling him uh, so you have an appointment abuna with the doctor so and so he told her i'm so sorry i don't have an appointment but i'm i'm so sorry to say this but i need just a cup of coffee she told him, uh, definitely Abuna will give you the best cup of coffee that we have. Please be seated. She went to the doctor. She's telling him there's something very weird happening. There is a priest outside who's asking for a cup of coffee. And I don't know what's this. So just, uh, if you want to speak to him or something, maybe he needs help. So the doctor uh, reached out to the, to the priest in the, um, the reception area. And he told him, please come with me. And he got him the coffee. And Abuna started drinking the coffee and he started being awake. So and Abuna is apologizing to the doctor, telling him, I'm so sorry about this. It's very weird. I'm coming to you. It is this time. I'm uh, taking you outside of your uh, busy schedule. Please forgive me. It never happens to me that I'm, I'm that sleepy during the day. So the doctor told uh, Abuna, I know why you are sleepy. So he told him, how do you know? <laughs> he told him, yes, because for the last 25 years, I never entered the church. I never took communion and I never uh, confessed. So Abuna told him, no problem. Tomorrow I am praying in the next door village, a liturgy. So come take communion and, uh, and take the blessing. And I'm here now. You can confess before I leave and take the road. And the doctor was in very, very repentant state. In tears, he was repenting and confessing all his sins, all his sins that he has done all this amount of years. He kissed the hands of Abuna. Abuna prayed for him. Second day, he came. The doctor came, took communion. On the second day, Abuna is returning back to his home. The third day, Abuna is reading the... the, the the journal, the newspaper, and there is a big part for those who are departed. And he looks in the names and he found the name of the doctor that he gave communion, died the day before. And his, his, uh, the announcement of the departure of that doctor was in the, new, in the, in the newspaper. And Abuna kept saying, what is, what is going on? What is going on? It was the repentance of that doctor that saved him. 25 years never entered, never entered a church, never connected with God for 25 years. You can see 
think of 25 years you haven't been taking any shower <laughs> and how long how, how long you can can not take shower uh, with the, with the, with my respect to all the male deacons all the deacons the younger deacons I know you can extend this for a long time but in natural situation you take shower every day sometimes twice a day Sometimes at night and in the morning, and even if it is a hot day like today, you can take shower twice. But we don't do this on a spiritual level. We can stay for years and years and years to the extent that we are now smelling. <laughs> when someone uh, smells bad, you, you feel very awkward. I recall one, one time I, uh, I took, someone was driving, my, yeah, driving me to a, uh, to a visit and once I stepped in in the car uh, I felt that I want to even throw up it, it is unbelievable the amount that the smell in the car is is <laughs> I opened the, the the windows and I started almost going with my head outside of them just to breathe fresh air it was awful what is this this is the smell of sin so with all with all the messages that the scripture is giving us that the end of, of year is the end of the Coptic year is this Friday. We have service in the Vespers and we have a liturgy in the first day. The same message come across all the day. I mean, in the last two weeks, almost if you stepped in the church on Sunday, same reading. We are not repeating the reading. It is not that we are we didn't we are confused and we are repeating the reading. No, the last two Sundays in this in this uh, in the year in the Coptic year is speaking about the second coming, and the message is, be ready. Simply be ready. What does it profit a man if he gain the whole world? If you are more, more uh, wealthy than uh, Bezos, the owner of Amazon, or I don't know who is the owner of Amazon now, or, uh, Jeff Bezos, you are more rich than him, and you are more beautiful than, I don't know, you pick uh, your, uh, your most uh, beautiful uh, celebrities. And you are more healthy than, uh, I don't know, uh, Usain Bolt, the fastest man on earth. And you are more athletic than uh, Michael Jordan, and you are more uh, wealthy and more beautiful, and more popular than I don't know the, the the most famous person on on a YouTuber, or that they are followed by millions and millions of people. And you have all of this, and you have the ma the, the most beautiful family and the most beautiful career and the mo the highest amount of money that you can think of. You can look to the bank account and you cannot even count the digits of the money that you have in your bank account and you lose your own soul what does it profit a man what does it profit you and me if i build the most uh, biggest cathedral and i am the most uh, famous priest in on the diocese and in the archdiocese and in the uh, the community of egypt uh, all over the world maybe uh, more popular than the pope <laughs> what is bene what does it benefit me if I gained all of this and I lost my own soul, what does it benefit? So the message is be ready. It is it is a very simple message, be ready. Because Abu Nabshoi Kamel and Abu Tadrus Ya'ub, Abu Nabshoi Kamel, the part Abu Tadrus Ya'ub and Abu Nabshoi Kamel were having a meeting and they were discussing together what should be the message of tomorrow on Sunday, the, the, the sermon. They were going back and forth, they have three or four uh, topics and they went go back and forth back and forth back and forth this topic is very good and this topic is amazing and this topic is is great and this topic is even better than the first and the second then they started and they said okay which topic we are going to pick and abu nabshoi said if this is the last sermon that you are going to give on earth this is your last which one you will pick they picked the repentance sermon this would be the one and if i ask me this would be the one so be ready because the time it, you don't know you don't know when the end of times uh, I, I personally would prefer to to die before the second coming because from what the scripture is saying it is not if if the if the lord is saying if those days are not shortened no one will be saved this is a big statement so today I want to tell you about being ready, how to be ready, five things. It's a 
Can you read? Can you can you see the deacons? Switch a little bit or uh, move your neck. So R ready R E A D Y. The R is repent daily. Repent daily. And I'm adding the word daily because it is a life of repentance. It, don't wait for 25 years like this doctor because maybe that Abuna is not there. <laughs> maybe. And we will lose everything that we have gained and nothing can compensate this loss. Be ready and repent daily. In the end of day, in the... Um, Okay, this is a, a funny story. Um, it happened with me. It was um, almost 1 a.m. in the morning. It was a junior high boys retreat. Junior high boys retreat in Egypt like 200 years ago. And the... the 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 servants were there and we barely barely after very very long day the kids started sleeping and we are extremely extremely tired extremely exhausted and i was sleeping in the bunk bed it was extremely hot and um, uh, while i was sleeping in the bunk bed there, there was it was like uh, so one one below me the, the bed on the side and the third bed in the in the room so the one in the middle was one of the servants. And um, uh, he was uh, talking with the servant that is below me. And they kept talking, talking, talking. And he told them, no, 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 no. The, uh, have you heard this prayer? He told them, what prayer? He told them, let me tell you. I'm overhearing what's going on. Into Maya or Fasalt? Bunk bed? I'm still there. Okay, so... And this deacon, this servant, uh, I, ca I, I, I cannot forget his name, is a very dear person to me, but I will not reveal his name now. And he started saying this. I repeat it in English and Arabic. Ya Rabb, inna daynunatak la marhuba istuhshar al nas taqf al malaika tuftah al asfar tukshaf al amal ayu idana takuna idanati ana al madbud bil khataya man yutfi lahi bil nar anni man yudi zulmati in lam tarhamni anta Rabb la anaka mutaatif ala al bashar wahdak Lord, your judgment is dreadful when men shall be rushed, angels shall stand, books shall be opened. What books will be opened? What books will be opened? It is not the CPA books. What books will be opened? The, the, the books of our deeds. All, our, all the things, all the history, all the things that we have done and I have done. Secretly and openly. And the secretly is before the openly. Books will be opened. Deeds shall be revealed. And the thoughts examined. What a judgment mine will be. I, I am who entangled by sin. Who would quench the flames of fire about me. Who would enlighten my darkness other than you O lord have mercy on me for you are compassionate to mankind so then i will, i've lost sleep and i stepped from the bunk bed i told him what did you say he told me did i say anything wrong i told him no i never heard this prayer before from where did you get this prayer he told me no no it's in like bear <laughs> i didn't do anything wrong I told him no where, where is like which Akbar are you praying from? I have prayed the Akbar many times. No, no, no. And we, we, we put, turn on the light, we open the Akbar, and it was in the veil prayer, Salat al sitar of the monks. It is assigned to the monks, but it is not exclusively for the monks. Anyone can pray it. Last Tuesday in the college meeting, we prayed the, we prayed salat, the, the veil prayer because they never prayed it before. What is this? In the end of every day, the church is f fully loading the books of ours, even the, the, the prayer of the 12th hour. Reminding us because repentance is a daily task. It is a daily task. It is every single day. It is not, I repented or I confessed uh, that a long time ago. No, it is a daily task. So how to be ready are 
for the deacons who are sleeping. Guys, are you there? R4, can you read? Repent daily. E, eternally driven. Let us live a life that we are eternally driven. Have you seen someone who is money driven? Have you seen people who are money driven? It's all about money. Give me, give me, give me tithe. No, give me profit, greed. Give me, give me, give me. We'll step on his, uh, his, uh, his mom or his dad or who will cross all the lines, push everyone over so as to get the extra good deal or well, uh, better money or, or it's greed. And, and you say, well, what's going on with those people? But the people, so those are people who are money driven. But the people are eternity driven. They are thinking of eternal life. Someone wronged you. You don't get back. It's no big deal. I forgive you. You forgive me. You don't want to forgive me. I'm sorry. I have sinned against you. Please forgive me and move on. Eternity driven will be thinking of eternal life all the time. If you know Arshi um, Mina in, uh, of blessed memory in the church of St. Mina. I know some of you knows him very well. Um, he had something very simple. He used to, he had a lot of uh, kids and a lot of grandkids and he reached out to uh, the grandkids almost on a daily basis. And he speak with them for maybe 20 minutes, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. And in those 20, 30 seconds, they are busy, people are busy. They don't have time for hakawi uh, al There is no time for talking. And in those 20, 30 seconds, he is mentioning Eternity, all the time. Keep your eye on eternity. Let us look to the things that is coming. Not the things that are seen, but the things that are not seen. Let us hope for the, to see the glory of God. Keep your eyes on your crown. Keep your eyes on your crown. Hold fast your crown. And don't let anyone take it from you. Eternity driven. So in order to be ready, number one, repent daily. Number two, eternity driven. Be an eternity driven. One of the things that will prove us, are we eternity driven or not? The time that we spend in prayer, time we spend in prayer, time we spend in service, and the, 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 the giving ability that we have to give, to give. Uh, the one who is looking after eternity, when uh, you remember there was a, a beggar that took 14 times, 14 times in one day from Ambabram. He begged. He take the money, he returned back to Amba Brahman. Amba Brahman is giving 14 times in one day. And people reach out to Amba Brahman telling him, you are squandering the money of the tithes. You are, you are waste. This is a waste. And he respond and he tell them, you want me to build the cathedral? I'm building a better cathedral for you in heaven. I'm building a better cathedral for you in heaven. Don't worry. It's no big deal. Repent daily. Etern be an etern eternity driven I don't think that we'll have time to cover all the five I will um, I will show it to you number three is accept love of truth this is a unique uh, point that to the, in today's reading there is something very strange happened let me read it for you second Thessalonians chapter 2 speaking about the second coming and what will happen will Ertidad and the Antichrist and the fall away of many and let no one deceive you by by any means for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first and the man of sin is revealed in San al Khatiya or the Antichrist the son of perdition Ibn al Halak who opposes and exalts himself about all that is called God for that is worship so that he he sits as God in the temple of God showing himself that he is God all of this about the Antichrist do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you this thing, St. Paul continues, and now you know what is restraining, that he may be revealed in his own time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Lawlessness um, comes... Cyril if the mystery of lawlessness is Sir al Ithma or Sir al Khatiyah. Come and exalt himself above all that is called God, for, he, for that is worship, so that he sits 
as God in the temple of God showing himself that he is God so raising his throne above the throne of God do you not remember that when I was still with you then St. Paul continues for the mystery of lawlessness in verse 8 and then the lawless one will be revealed whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming this was today's reading the coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power signs lying wonders we're working of Satan with all power signs and lying wonders have you seen I don't I will not mention the name of the magic the magician but a magician that millions of millions of people are are following him and uh, wow did you see what he did and how he did this and how he tricked this and how he did this and how there is a magician who uh, took for example the the the, um, the Egyptian pound and he put it in, a, in an envelope whatever yani put it in something and he gets it back 30 dollars he put 10 10 Egyptian pound gets it 10 10 dollars 10 100 Egyptian pounds gets it 100 Egypt uh, dollars this is multiplying the value of the money by at least 15 and people were going crazy after this man can I give you the money can I give you the money that I have can I give you the money he will make the money in dollars and people are going nuts and everyone is saying how he's doing this how he's doing this and they are fascinated and they are following him it says very clearly that the coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power signs uh, and lying wonders it says about this don't get uh, oh, how they are doing this and they want the, the golden buzzer and uh, it's okay it's, it's no big deal it has been mentioned 2000 years before them and with all unrighteous I'm telling you all this because of the A accept love of truth and with all unrighteous deception and those who will perish because so the the coming of the lawless one in verse 9 the lawless one will come according to the working of satan with all power signs and lying wonders uh, false and lying wonders and with all unrighteous deception all the deception that he will make among those who perish so people who are following this will unfortunately will perish but what the what the scripture is saying because they did not receive or they did not accept the love of the truth that might that they might be see this may that sorry that they might be saved they did not accept the love of the truth and this is a new concept that the scripture is telling me and telling you accept in your heart the, to love truth accept to love truth what does it mean that you search for truth don't believe whatever Google is telling you or social media is telling you because 99% of it is false you go through this way I had had a long long talk about the, the deception that we can fall in but accept to love the love of truth accept the love of truth when we love truth when we love truth we love God himself because he said I am the way the truth and the life so repent daily stay and be ready by being eternally driven number three accept love of truth number four and five will not have time for it deceive not because there is a lot of deception will happen in the end of days and yield your own will tell God let it be according to your will not according to mine to whom is the glory forever and ever amen